It's important. I need to borrow your car keys and 50 bucks. What? No, Jeffy, you're not going to use my card. Why do you need 50 bucks? Daddy, check it. I found this girl online, and she said she would eat a hot fudge sundae off my junk for 25 bucks behind Walgreens. For 25 bucks? Then why do you need 50? Because I wanted to do it twice. That's a lot of ice cream, Jeffy. Yeah, hopefully she's not lactose intolerant. Lactose intolerant? Uh-huh. Mm, I only have $100. Well, then four times it is. She's going to do it no times, Jeffy. Well, then do you want me to ask for change? What? No, no, Jeffy, listen, she's not going to do it at all because I don't want you eating ice cream in my car. Well, here's the thing, Daddy. I'm not eating ice cream. She is. I'm just the bulb. <laughs> what? No, Jeffy, I don't want any ice cream activities happening in my car. Just, just go get a job or something. What do you want me to do what she does for a living? What? No, Jeffy, just go to your room and play, please. <sighs> all right, Daddy. I guess I'll ask her if she can get me a discount. No, no discount. Just No, you're not going to do it. Marvin, maybe we should get Jeffy a car. Well, why would we get Jeffy a car? So we can go to Walgreens and do ice cream stuff? No, but he could get a job and drive himself to and from work. I guess you're right. If we do get him a car, he, he can go to get a job, and he's 18 now, so he can start being an adult. But we only have $100. Maybe I can go see if we can get, like, a cheap used car. Yeah, okay, Marvin. All right, baby. I just got Jeffy a very used car. Is it nice? It's... It's a car. Uh-oh, you hesitated. No, baby, it's good enough for Jeffy to go find a job, drive to work, and go do his ice cream festivities. Okay. All right, Daddy, check it. I got her down to 20 bucks. So if we take that 100 over there, you go two times, I'll go three times. No, Jeffy. All right, fine, I'll let you go first. Well, no, Jeffy, me and your mom got you a very late 18th birthday gift. <gasps> Did you get her to come here? I gotta go clean my room. Well, no, 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 Jeffy, it's in the driveway. Daddy, you don't have to call her an it. Her pronouns are he, she, him, hers. It said it on the profile. Jeffy, though, listen, it's not whatever you're talking to. Come outside. All right, Jeffy. Surprise! Surprise! You guys got me a car? Yeah, Jeffy, you're 18 years old now, so you might want to get out of the house, get a job, make your own money. Marvin? Can I pick up fat hoes? Jeffy! What, 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 why are they gonna be fat? More cushion for the pushing, Daddy. Well, uh, Jeffy, you can pick up whoever you want in that car, because it's your car, and you can do whatever you want with it. Daddy, can I pimp my ride and spray paint my car yellow? No, Jeffy, you cannot spray paint it yellow. But you said I can do whatever I want to my car. You did say that, Marvin. But spray paint's gonna look so ugly, and it looks so nice right now. But, Daddy, I want to pimp my ride. Uh, you know what, Jeffy? Do whatever you want. Just, just go look for a job, please. That's all I needed to hear, Daddy. Oh, he's Come gonna, on, Marvin. He's gonna ruin the car. It's time to Jeffify this hoe. And done. The Jeffy Mobile is complete. Hey, Jeffy, what are you doing? I just got done spray painting my car, Junior. Whoa, you got a new car? It's so sick. It says your name on the hood. Yeah, I call it the hoe puller because it pulls hose. Check out where they sit, Junior. Oh, shit here. That's so awesome. Yeah, and check out the trunk. It says, Chevy. Oh, can we go for a ride? Sure, Junior. Let's go to McDonald's and get some Happy Meals. Holes love Happy Meals. They will suck your Kremlin. Oh, let's go. Let's go. All right. All right, Junior. You ready to get some Mickey D's? Yeah. Mickey D's nuts. <laughs> let's try some tunes. All right. <laughs> I'm riding my Spider-Man bike. I'm just like Peter Parker in Spider-Man 2 when he was delivering pizzas on his bicycle. That movie had Dr. Octopus in it. It was so crazy. Jeffy is trying to pull hose, to pull hose, to pull hose. Jeffy is trying to pull hose in this car. He's gonna help me do it. Woo! What, Jeffy, what was that noise? Oh no, Junior just keeps singing. Jeffy is trying oh, to I, pull I think hose, you hit something. Pull... No, I didn't. Junior just keep singing. Uh, Jeffy, Jeffy is trying to pull hose. Jesus Christ. What do we got, Simmons? Looks like a hit and run, mate. Ah, hit it and quit it, just like I used to do in college. So how's the victim? He was airlifted to the ICU. He's in a coma. Hmm. So we're not going to be getting any answers out of him anytime soon. Any evidence left behind? Ah, uh, not that I see. Wait, what's this? Look, Simmons, yellow paint. Oh, I thought that was mustard. I thought he was eating a hot dog while he was riding his bike. Well, no, I'm pretty sure this is just yellow paint. Well, why would he eat a hot dog with yellow paint on it? That'd what? make him sick. No, no, S Simmons, like, it, it, was, it was a yellow car and it left its paint behind when it hit the bike. Well, what if the car was covered in mustard? Okay, Simmons, you know, I really appreciate how you think outside the box sometimes, but this is not one of those times. We need to find a yellow car. Well, it could be the Oscar Mayo Mobile. Oh, okay, you, you look for that. I'm gonna go find a yellow car. All right. Hey, Danny! Me and Junior just went and got Happy Meals. Peep the box. Happy as fuck. Jeffy, language! You didn't go to Walgreens, did you, Jeffy? Oh, man, Danny completely forgot about Walgreens. I'm gonna need that hundred bucks. No, Jeffy, that's why we got you that car, so you can go get your own job and make your own money. Oh, maybe I can get a job at Walgreens. Then on my lunch break, I can go in the back and have an ice cream party. Every day would be a Sunday. Beep. No, Jeffy, how about you get a job at McDonald's? But he, she, him, hers, they, them isn't at McDonald's, Daddy. The news. Breaking news, 
okay? There was a hit and run involving a child on a bicycle, and police need your help to find out who did it. Mr. Goodman is on scene now with an eyewitness who saw the whole thing. Goodman? I'm here at the scene of the crime where a yellow car has struck a child on a bicycle and left the scene. I'm here with the only reported witness, Cody Nutkiss. Now tell me, Cody, give me every detail of what happened. Don't leave out any details. Well, I was just sitting here eating my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week, and all of a sudden I heard a BAM, so I guess that's what that was. Truly remarkable and very graphic detail. Now, police are on the scene now, so if you have any information as to a yellow car missing paint, don't hesitate to call 911 immediately. Oh no! I hope that poor kid is okay. Good thing we don't know anyone that owns a yellow car. Damn it! They forgot my toy! Wait a minute. Jeffy, you spray painted your car yellow, right? I sure did, Daddy. And that hole looked clean. I'm talking yellow like a banana. Oh wait, that's where I could work, Daddy. I could start my own paint and body shop. I could call it Jeffy's Blow and Go. Or Jeffy's Spray and Pay. I spray it, you pay it. Wait, so Jeffy, did you hit anything while you were driving today? Daddy, the only thing I hit was the gas pedal to get where I was going. I'm talking here. But like you didn't hit like anything like, like a kid on a bike? No, but they did add a weird speed bump in the neighborhood today. What? If you were a yellow car, Simmons, where would you park it? Is that a trick question? No. Because you drive on a parkway, but you park on a driveway. Wait, wait, Simmons, look over there! Well, 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 Simmons. If I had a dog, his name would be Bingo. What does this car have to do with your dog? Well, no, S Simmons, I'm saying that we found the car we were looking for. What type of dog are you gonna get, mate? I, I'm not getting a dog, Simmons. I'm saying that we found the car. I like cockapoos. Okay, great, but I'm saying we found the car because it's a yellow car that has scratches on it. Oh, so no mustard. No, no, no mustard. Now let's go knock on the door and serve up a hot plate of justice. Good, because I'm hungry. Who's at the door? Uh, uh, hello? Hey there. Uh, what do you fine officers want? Fine officers? <laughs> Buy me dinner first, handsome. I hook up with his mom. Oh, God, you had to mention that today? Uh, do you guys have a warrant? What? Okay, that was the most guilty thing you could have said. What do, do you have one? Because I don't know what you could be doing here. Okay, look, I don't know if you heard, but there was a hit and run today involving a yellow car, and we found a yellow car parked in your driveway. Oh, well, that's my son's car. Oh, can we have a word with your son? Uh, yeah, yeah sure, come in. Who's at the door, Marvin? It's the cops. Good, because I would like to file a report against McDonald's for forgetting my Happy Meal toy. Oh, I hate when they do that, especially when it's like a limited edition toy. And I really hate when they give you the toy you already got last time. It's like, you should know that I already have this toy. It's stupid. Why are the cops here? Oh, well, there was a hit and run involving a yellow car, and your son happens to have a yellow car. How do you know it was my car? Well, because there are scratches on your car, and there's yellow paint on the bike you hit. Well, how do you know it's not mustard on the bike? It, it's not mustard. Did you taste it? I... I did not. Hold on, I'll go taste it. Jeffy, if you did it, you should go admit to it right now. They'll give you less time if you admit to it. I plead the fifth. Ugh. Oh god, no, that that is paint. That is not mustard. You definitely hit that bike. Well, what if the kid on the bike hit my parked car? Hmm. Damn, I hadn't thought of that. He's got us there, Simmons. Hold on, I'm getting a call. What? Hello? What? The kid woke up from his coma? That's great! Well, you heard me. The kid woke up from his coma. So I'm gonna go ask him what happened. Oh, Jeffy, you're gonna go to jail. I didn't even do anything. Hey, kid, how you feeling? Where am I? What is my body hurt? Oh, well, you got hit by a car and you just woke up from a coma. That's so crazy. Yeah, listen, we need you to tell us if you remember getting hit by a car. Oh, yeah, I was delivering pizzas like a Spider-Man 2, and then all of a sudden this car came, and I tried to jump over with my spider powers, but I didn't. Wait, so you were actually trying to jump over the car? Yeah, but my webs couldn't attach to anything, so I got hit. Oh, uh, you're the real Spider-Man? Yeah! Oh my god, Simmons. We have to protect this kid's identity at all costs. If he presses charges, everyone's gonna find out his real name. We can't have that. Don't worry, kid. Your secret's safe with us. Hey there. What'd the kid say? Well, I can't divulge that information because of the Hippo Act, but I may or may not have met Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Him. I met him. Or maybe I didn't. Did you mean or not? I don't know. Maybe maybe I met him. Maybe the kid was him. Maybe he was the kid. I don't know. Maybe he's Spider-Man. Maybe he's not. Who knows? The kid's Spider-Man? Oh, who told you that? Because I didn't tell you that. He's not He's not Spider-Man. Unless he is Spider-Man. I, I don't know. I didn't say that. Spider-Man's real? Yes, he's real. And I met him. Maybe. Well, oh, okay. So what's going on? Is the kid pressing charges or not? No, Spider-Man is not pressing charges. So the kid is Spider-Man? No, no. I didn't I didn't say that. You, you said the kid is Spider-Man. You said the Spider-Man's not pressing charges. Sp Spider-Man is his lawyer. Look, stop asking me questions, okay? I need to go get an autograph. What? All right, Jeffy, do you learn a lesson from today? Daddy, she agreed to meet here! Wait, who? The ice cream he, she, him, her! Who's that? It, it, them! 
Hello? Hey, I'm here to eat ice cream sundaes for 20 bucks. So guys, what do you want to do today? Actually, guys and girl, I invited Penelope. Hi guys! What, what are you doing here, Penelope? Oh, so much estrogen in the room. We don't want you here. Cody, I told you I shouldn't have come! Yeah, I don't know what I expected. Junior, I thought you liked her. Of course I like Penelope. She's the love of my life. But I can't be nice to her in front of the boys. I gotta be mean. Ew, cooties, cooties, you're disgusting. Get out of here with your orange hair. Junior, you have orange hair. <gasps> She's right, dude. What? Well, we don't like long orange hair, so leave! Yeah! Junior, shut up. Oh, okay, fine, guys. What are we all gonna do? Well, why don't we ask Penelope what she wants to do? Ooh, I We like... don't want to do makeup. We don't want to do our nails. We don't want to play Barbies. <laughs> I was yeah. going to say that we should watch my favorite show, Love Beach. We don't want to watch a chick show. But there's the sexiest lifeguard ever on that show! Ooh, sexy lifeguard. I think we should watch it. Well, how about you and Penelope watch it, and me and Joseph will find something else to do. There's hot girls on there, too. Hot <laughs> girls?! Ooh. Okay, we'll watch it. Turn it on, channel 7. You're watching Love Beach. Help me, help me, I'm drowning! Uh, oh my god, that woman's drowning. Don't worry, ma'am. Me and my gorgeous looks will save you. <laughs> oh my god, he's so sexy! Oh, don't worry. I know I am. Oh my god, you're so so hot. You're not too bad yourself. My name's Brad with a big D. Ooh, my name's Brandy with double D's. Hey, can I get your Snapchat? <laughs> of course. <gasps> I know you're hot, but I still need help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's my snap. Just hit me up and maybe we can hook up sometime. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Damn, she was fine. Wait, what was I doing? Oh yeah, ma'am, I'm coming to save you. Oh, I think she's dead. But I'm still hot. I'm gonna go hit up that girl. He's so sexy. Yeah, he is. Not as sexy as Steve Harvey. What are you talking about? The blonde girl is super hot. Nuh-uh, Junior. Brad is the hottest character on that show. How? Because he has the perfect teeth. Yeah, his teeth are perfect. Who cares about teeth? The blonde girl has cans. A smile is the most important part about a guy, Junior. Well, I can smile. Ooh, bro, don't hurt yourself. I don't know, Junior. I think you need teeth to have the perfect smile. But I don't have teeth. I know, that's why you'll never be hot. Yeah, Junior, why do you think I brush these puppies once a week? What, once a week? Mm-hmm. Um, maybe a little less yellow? What, so if I had teeth, I would be I would be hot? Um, yeah. What, so guys, I'm not hot! Well, you're hot to me, but it's not your face I'm looking at. Joseph, are teeth important? Yeah, dude. Oh, I can't wait to get my braces off. Then I'll have a smile like Steve Harvey. I want to smile like Steve Harvey. Cody, why don't I have teeth? I don't know, Junior. Some people are just born without teeth. You know, like turtles. Well, I'm not a turtle anymore. I'm a human. So how do I get teeth? I don't know. Just maybe call a dentist? Uh, a dentist? That's going to be expensive. Let me go ask my dad if he can call me a dentist. Dad, dad, dad! Not right now, Junior. I'm watching Zoe 101. Do you have teeth? What, what kind of stupid question is that? Of course I have teeth. Look at my pearly whites. Ah. Why do you have teeth? I don't have teeth. Wait, you don't? Oh, you're a toothless freak! <laughs> Everybody surround the toothless freak over here! <laughs> Only 25 cents to see him! Well, well, Dad, why don't I have teeth? I don't know, maybe your mom drunk while she was pregnant with you or something. She did? I don't know, that lady was crazy. She couldn't give up the party life. Now I'm stuck with you. Well, Dad, can I call the dentist and ask to get teeth put in my mouth? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Doesn't mean I'm gonna pay for it. You're not gonna pay for it? No, I'm not gonna pay for it. I'm not rich. I'm broke. Look, look, look. you can pay for it. You're a grown man, right? Handle business. <laughs> okay, Dad. Now back to my Zoe. What's wrong, buddy? What'd your dad say? He said he won't pay for me to get new teeth. Well, I don't really blame him, Junior. Teeth are expensive. You know, veneers cost over $1,000 per tooth, and there are 32 teeth in the human mouth, so that's over $30,000. And the average income in Florida, where we live, is $27,000. So that would take you over a year just to get enough money to get new teeth. And this video is only supposed to be 10 minutes, so we gotta get this shit moving, dog. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, teeth are pretty expensive. I think we should find cheaper options. You said it'd be $30,000 for me to get new teeth? Yeah. Well, why don't we just ask our good old buddy Chef Pee, -Pee for the money? You mean our good old very broke buddy Chef Pee, -Pee? Boy, He's not that broke. Look, I promise you he'll give me the money for the teeth. Let me go ask him. Hey, Chef Pee, -Pee. Shh! The carrots are cooking. Can I borrow $30,000 for new teeth? Damn! $30,000? Why do you even need new teeth? Just be like Chef Pee, Pee I don't have teeth, I'm perfectly fine. Wait, you don't have teeth? Nope, and I'm perfectly fine. Ah. Whoa, well, well, this girl said I would be hot if I had teeth. Look, women lie all the time, Junior. First she's gonna want you to get new teeth. Then she's gonna want you to get six pack abs. Then she's gonna want you to be six feet tall. Look, just focus on yourself, King. Live your life. Live your beautiful life. So you're not gonna give me the money? I don't have the money right now, bro, dang! Oh, okay. <gasps> 
<sighs> What's wrong now, bud? What do you say, Junior? <sighs> Chef Pippi said he doesn't have $30,000 to give me. Here we go. <sighs> I don't know why you thought he had that much money. Junior's just a chef, and chefs in the United States only make about $50,000 a year, and Chef Pee probably makes less than that because he's really just a slave for your dad, so he probably only makes pennies a day, and even if he did make that much, I don't know why he'd give you his entire yearly salary just for you to get teeth when he doesn't even have teeth himself because really we're all just puppets being controlled by humans floating on a piece of rock in space in one of a trillion galaxies and never expanding universe that'll one day collapse and die in a heat death so we could all just enjoy all the time we have on Earth while we can't. Fuck! You should really just call a dentist. Okay, how about I call a dentist and just see how much it is? I just. I really wanted to have the $30,000 waiting for him, but I'll just call a dentist and see if there's cheaper options. Hey there, somebody call an at-home dentist? God, I wish these existed. Yeah, we have a teeth problem. What is it, this kid's teeth? Because damn, those are gross. Your teeth look like pieces of corn. Well, no, it's me. See, I don't have teeth. What, are you using this kid's brushing habits? Okay, I don't need to hear this, so I won't. Well, no, it's just I don't have teeth, and I was wondering, like, you know, if I could get fake teeth. Well, a full set of veneers is going to cost you about $30,000. I don't have $30,000. Okay, then. Duel me! Blue Eyes White Dragon! Wow! Wow! That's what a blue eyes white dragon sounds like! Beat that! What? I don't have Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You lose! No free teeth for you! Looks like you just suck at Yu-Gi-Oh! But I don't have Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, you suck. I win. Like I always do. Because nobody ever has Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Okay, so what is the cheapest option for teeth? The cheapest option was to duel me, but you already lost that. Oh, okay, what are the cheapest option above that? Well, I guess the cheaper option would be I could go to a cemetery, dig up a body, pull its teeth out, and then put them in your mouth. Okay, how much would that cost? Well, look, man, you just give me a shovel and I'll get to town, okay? I, I've always wanted to be a grave robber. Well, th there's a shovel downstairs. Just go grab it. Okay, awesome. Hold still. And done. Oh, my God. Oh, no, what have I done? But oh. How's it look, Joseph? Hmm... What, what's wrong? Dude, it looks so terrifying! What, it's terrifying? Yeah, I mean, you look like you have a dead person's teeth in your mouth. So I'm not hot? No, you look like a nightmare. Look, can someone please just call Penelope so she can tell me if it looks good? Wait, my daughter Penelope? Yeah, she's the only reason I'm doing this. Okay, yeah, I'll call her so she never talks to boys ever again. Penelope! What do you want, Dad? This thing wants to talk to you. Hey, Penelope, do you like my smile? <laughs> Hey, I think she's into you, you little lady killer you. Because you do look like you kill ladies and eat them and wear their face on your face. Well, is it that bad? Oh, yeah, I don't know how we thought this was a good idea. Well, it was just the cheapest option. I just want pretty teeth. Okay, look, I can understand that you want to have good teeth, and as a dentist, I respect that. So I went to Party City, and I got you a whole bunch of silly teeth you can try. Wait, really? Yeah, let me go get them. All right, try those bad boys out. How do I look? Uh, you look like your name is Rufus. What? Joseph, are they good? Uh, it looks like you sleep with your sister, dude. Well, I mean, Penelope does have orange hair, so we could be brother and sister. No, 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 no. I got my wiener snipped when I was born, so I can't have any more kids. Oh, wait, no, that was a circumcision, not a vasectomy. Oh, God, I might have so many kids out there somewhere. Oh, I'm so stupid. Do you think Penelope will like these teeth? No, I think we should try something else. Okay, I mean, you're the dentist. Let's try something else. Hold still and bam, check these out. These are badass. You look like a great white shark. How do I look, Joseph? Dude, you look so sick. I feel like I just want to bite everything. Like, I want to bite everything. Oh, God. Oh, no, my arm. Oh, Jesus, help me. Oh, oh God, it hurts. It hurts so bad. I really like these shark teeth. I feel like I bite everything. Hmm, no. No, I don't like these teeth. But I like them. No, especially if you're going to be talking to my daughter. I, I think you need different teeth. Oh, okay. And done. Rob the jewelry store and tell them make me a grill. Ding, 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 ding. You, you remember that song from like 2005? Most of you weren't born yet, but that's what you kids would call a banger. Uh, Joseph, how's it look? Dude, it looks so sick. You could actually be a rapper or something. Oh, okay, then I want to keep these. No, see, those are going to cost you about $150,000. $150,000? Why would you put them in my mouth then? I just wanted to sing the song. Let me get those out for you, champ. We'll try something more affordable. All right, how about these? I gave you two little fangs. Dude, you look like a vampire. Ah, he's sucking my blood. I really like these, Joseph. No, no, I, I, I don't like those. You, you look dumb. Wait, why? Well, you just, you just do. I'm, I just really want to keep. No, back up, you little blood sucker. Let me get those out. What? What? Uh huh. Yep. These are the teeth. How do they look? Well, they're not real veneers. I just took some foam and then used a pencil to draw lines on them, so they look like teeth. But you look great, Joseph. Are they good? <gasps> you look like Steve Harvey. I do. Yep. You got that million dollar smile. You can host all the game shows. Hell, be a judge if you want. Apparently, you can do anything with teeth like that. So women are gonna think I'm hot? Totally, dude. Thanks, dentist. You're welcome.
Boy? Wait, who you calling boy, huh? Him, him, uh, him, yeah, him, him. Yeah. Penelope, can you get in here? I want you to see my smile. Junior, if you have those scary teeth, then I'm going to throw this apple at you. What scary teeth? Oh, my God, Junior. Your teeth, they're gorgeous. Yeah, I look like a car salesman. I'd buy a time share from you, bro. Thanks, Joseph. You went from a 4 to a 10 in just a few minutes. What are you talking about, Penelope? I've always had this beautiful smile. I just never noticed your perfect teeth before. So, would you date me now? Of course, Junior. All the girls are going to be so jealous that I'm dating someone with a hot smile. So you want to go on a date with me tonight? Yeah, Junior, but do you want to bite in my apple? Of course. With these perfect teeth, I can bite into anything. Oh, oh my God! Your teeth are fake! Get away from me, freak! We're going to open that up, baby! Oh, man! Oh, my teeth are really broken! Yes, dude. Yeah! You do not look like Steve Harvey. <laughs> What's wrong, buddy? No, no, Cody. You got to do it in a higher pitch, like this. Buddy? 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 buddy. buddy. Okay. Can you please stop? What's wrong, buddy? I, I had a perfect smile and then I broke my teeth when I bit into an apple. Well, maybe you should have bitten into something softer, like the free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week. Now that's every week. Not every video, not every day, every week. Oh, God, I'm so glad to finally be home from work. I just want to sit back and relax. Hey, boydy! Are you ready to cuddle up and watch movies? I made you popcorn and I cooked it extra long because I know you like it crunchy. Karen, it's popcorn. It's always crunchy. You just burned it. This piece isn't burnt. Oh, good. I'll just eat that piece. What movie do you even want to watch? Home Alone. Oh, Karen, we've watched Home Alone five times this week. I hope that little boy will be okay. Well, there's a sequel, so I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. He's just home alone in that big house. It's so scary. You, you do know it's a comedy, right? <laughs> what? Oh, God, my brother's calling me. Oh, God, I don't want to talk to him. Hello? Brooklyn guy, mom's in the hospital. No, Jonathan, I'm not falling for another prank. It's not a prank. This is real life. Please come. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. Okay, hurry. I love you. Uh -huh. Apparently, my mother's in the hospital. Wait, <gasps> wait, hold on. Let me get this beat. Hello? You didn't say I love you back. I know. Bye. Brady, your mother's in the hospital? Yeah, I guess. You gotta go check on her! Okay, I just, I don't know what's worse, sitting here and eating burned popcorn with you or visiting my mother in the hospital. It's okay, Muddle. Everything's gonna be okay. Do you want me to go get you a beer? Shut the hell up, Jonathan, and stop petting me like a cat. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> what's going on here? Muddle's dying! Oh, look who decided to show up. My good-for-nothing son, Brookie. You know, I could leave. Nurse, what's going on here? Your mother's kidney is failing. What, really? Again? Didn't you already have a kidney transplant? She sure did. I gave her one of mine. Look, I even have the scar to prove it. I tell the ladies it's a shock bite. I can show me. Your mother needs a kidney transplant or she's gonna die. Well, I don't know anybody else who'd be willing to give her a kidney. You could give me one of yours. I, I'm using them right now. Selfish! Yeah, don't even love your own mother. I'd give you my last kidney, mother. Well, then you would die, Jonathan. I would die for mother. See, that's a real son right there. Loves his own mother. Doctor, are you sure you don't know anyone that could give her a kidney? Uh, oh man, I guess... I guess I could ask Dad. Oh, no! I don't want nothing from him except for the back child support for the past 32 years. Ooh, Brooklyn guy, why don't you go and ask him? He lives all the way in New York City, and I don't have his number. I'd have to find him. Brooklyn guy, listen. After everything Mother has ever done for you, you can't even go and ask Father for his kidney? Well, then why don't you go, Jonathan? I'm scared of flies, and Father hates me. He hates everybody. Except for 19-year-olds fresh out of high school. Yeah, ask him about that, cheating bastard. It's true. I the text messages. Okay, okay, fine. I guess I'll try to find Dad. Yay! Mother, you're saved! No, 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 no I, I wouldn't say that. I'm not promising anything. Mother, you're saved. Hey, Karen. How's your mother? Dying. Hey, listen, I gotta go to New York for a few days. Oh my god, I've always wanted to go to New York! Buddy, I'm so excited! Yeah, Karen, it's not a vacation. I, I have to go there to look for my dad. Boyney, I never met your father. Yeah, there's a reason for that. He's kind of a horn dog. Boyney, can I please go? We can go to the top of the Empire State Building. We can see the Statue of Liberty. We can go on Broadway! Uh, Karen, I think maybe you should just stay home and watch Home Alone a few more times. Oh, buddy, please! I want to go to New York! Please, 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 please! Okay, okay, fine, come on. Yay! Oh, God, I'm so glad to finally be at the hotel. That was a long flight. Buddy, buddy, buddy! Look, it's a view of the whole city! And look down there, it's Times Square! Boyney, can we please do all the basic touristy stuff? I want to go see the Statue of Liberty! I want to go to the top of the Empire State Building!
fucking, oh, and I want to see a homeless man. Ugh, Karen, can we just make it a quick montage? I'm tired. Okay, let's go! Ugh. Okay, Karen, are you happy? We did everything. Yes, thank you, Boiny. Okay, now let's go find my dad. Oh, Boiny, do we have to? I'm so tired. But Karen, that's the whole reason we came to New York in the first place. Fine, Boiny. Okay, now I think I know where my dad is. I googled this deli so we can find it. Let's go get a taxi. All right, Karen, I'm gonna hail us a taxi. I know how to do this. I'm from here. Taxi! Taxi! Ta taxi! Ta All right, screw me then. Okay, that's fine. Ta taxi! Hey! Hey, ta don't, yeah, okay, you're just gonna leave. Uh, ta taxi, ta I mean, you can take a bus. I don't wanna take a bus. Ta taxi, ta taxi. Oh, what's this? That's a normal car. That's just a normal car that we can't ride with them. That's ta a pretty car. It is. Taxi, ta taxi. Okay, this, they don't care. Ta taxi, I mean, I'll, I'll take a bicycle. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I don't want to. Uh, yes. Can, can you get... T taxi, 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 no. They're not listening to you. I know they're not listening, Karen. Let's try somewhere else. Come on, Karen, look. This one's already parked. Let's get in this one. Come okay, on. buddy. Oh, hurry, 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 hurry. Ugh, I hate taxis. Come on, Boiny, this is fun! Hello, this is Camille Habib Habib. Camille is in Camel, Habib Habib is in Corn on the Cob. And where can I take you today? Uh, the Brooklyn Deli, please. All right, I'm on it. Well, here it is, Brooklyn Deli. You own a deli? No. Then why is it named after you? Because my dad owns it. He named it after me back when he actually loved me, but I haven't talked to him in years. Let's go see if he's here. Boy, I'm so excited to meet your dad. Oh, just calm down, Karen. We don't even know if he's here. What? Oh, oh, hey, hey, Artie, we actually got a customer. Like, we actually have one. Yeah, you pull, pull out the turkey ass and, and the chicken nipples. Oh, there he is. Hey, what can I do for the sexy lady? <gasps> Sexy pointy, your dad loves me. Yeah. Dad, look, it's me, it's Brooklyn. What, Brookie, what the hell are you doing here? You know I left your mother for a reason. What? Yeah, Dad, I know, but look, I, I need something. Oh, no, 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 you're not getting a cent out of me. You know how much turkey ass I sell? Not a lot, nobody wants to eat turkey ass. Well, then why do you sell it? No, no Dad, look, it's, it's worse than that. Oh, no, is she pregnant? No, no, she's not pregnant. Well, do you want her to get pregnant? Because I'll get her pregnant, she's hot. What? No, Dad, ew, look, no, no, what she needs, she, she needs a kidney transplant. Boiny, I don't need a kidney transplant. Your shut, mother shut, needs a shut up, Karen. You need a kidney transplant. Well, what kind of kidney do you need? I I got goat kidney. I got I got chicken kidney. I got turkey ass. No, I don't want turkey ass. No, no, Dad. She has to get a human kidney, or she's gonna die. Oh, she's gonna die. I don't want to die. She's hot. Okay. Okay, I'll do it for her, because she's hot. What, really, Dad? You'll do it? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Hey, hey, Ernie, Ernie, I need you to watch this store while I'm gone. Put the turkey ass in the freezer so it doesn't go bad. There's nobody named Ernie back there. I'm so lonely. All right, Dad, I'm about to give you the anesthesia. Where's your wife, the hot one? I want her to be the last thing I see when I go under in case I die. Uh, she's, she, she's in the other room, but look at the nurse. Hey, how old are you? I'm 25. You're too old. Beat it, Granny. All right, Dad, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Wait, 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 wait. My, my kidney is going in your wife, right? Like, part of me is going inside her? That's what I want. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, put me under. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. That takes me back here. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Dad, the surgery was a success. Well, I'm glad I could help your wife. Thank you so much for saving Mother. Jonathan, I told you not to come in here. But I wanted to thank him for saving Mother. Johnny, what are you doing in here, you virgin bitch? I am not a virgin. Ask my hand. Jonathan, get out of here. But I wanted to thank Father for saving Mother. I literally watched you take his kidney out and put it inside of her. How heroic. Brookie, what's he talking about? I, I, I don't know. Hey, douchebag. Babs, what are you doing here? You gave me your kidney. What, did you really put my kidney? Me in this bitch? I, I'm sorry, Dad. It was the only way. She was gonna die. What, you're telling me she's gonna die? Damn it. Yeah. See, now I'm gonna drink twice as much because I'm gonna try to kill this kidney because that's the closest I'm gonna get to killing you. Oh, that's it. I'm never talking to any of you ever again. Ooh, ooh, maybe tonight we can all go out as a family for dinner. Yeah, Jonathan, I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. Somebody call me a taxi. 
Dad, can't we just talk about this? No, I want nothing to do with you. You stole my kidney. But I was just trying to save Mom's life. Why? Well, I just didn't want to hear Jonathan cry about it. I'm disowning you. You're not my son anymore. Oh, come on, Dad. There's got to be something I can do to make it up to you. Hmm. Let me, let me bang your hot wife. Oh, how charming. Okay, well, that's obviously not happening. Okay, then, no deal. Oh, come on, Dad. What, what if I could get you your kidney back? Hmm, okay, I'm listening. Now you just walk up to that bitch and rip it out. Well, I don't know about that, but I can definitely get you a kidney. All right, and in the meantime, I'm just going to sit here and hang out with your hot wife. And if something freaky happens, you can forget about the kidney. Well, I'm, I'm not really that worried about it. Hey, is Brookie hung? He gets it from his father. Hey guys. Hi. Did you just walk into our house? Yeah, hey listen, uh, I was wondering if I could borrow something. Like what? Milk, egg, sugar? Yeah, something simple like that. Just, uh, a human kidney. A human kidney? Yeah. Why do you need one of those? Are you sick? Oh no, nothing like that. It's just, it's kind of a long story. Well, we need to hear this long story if you're gonna ask for one of our kidneys. Well, I mean, it's a pretty typical situation. You know, my mom needed a kidney because she has a drinking problem, so I tricked my dad into giving her one of his kidneys by telling him that my wife needed a kidney, but now he's mad because he hates my mom because they're divorced, and now he wants his kidney back that he gave to her, but she won't give it back because she hates him because he cheated on her with a 20-year-old, and that's a whole nother story. But, so now I have to find a new kidney to give him to tell him that it's the one that he gave to my mom. You know, typical family drama. Well, we're not giving you one of our kidneys. Oh, come on, pretty please. Well, no, no, we're not giving you a stupid kidney. That's so dumb. Just give him one of yours. No, I, I need mine. Come well, on, well, I just well, need one of your kidneys. Like, you guys can rock, paper, scissors for it. The well, winner can give me the kidney. No! No, okay, fine. Then the loser can give me the kidney. I don't care. We're not playing rock, paper, scissors. Okay, fine. Flip a coin or something. We're, we're not giving you a kidney. I'm sorry. I thought you guys were my friends. We are your friend. Well, friends give friends dad's kidneys. No, why don't you just go ask a bum for a kidney? I don't know any bums. Ask Chef Pee Pee. Well, that's mean. Well, listen, he's probably not using his kidneys and he'll probably sell you one for some money. Hmm. Okay, I guess I can talk to him. <laughs> hey, no, not right now, Junior. I'm cooking. Wait, wait, you're not Junior. No, I'm not. Wait, what are you doing here? What do you want? Well, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. God, why does everybody want a favor from PP? What do you want from me? Well, now that I've seen your attitude, I'm kind of scared to ask. Good, don't ask. Well, I, I was just wondering if you would sell me something. I'll do anything for money. <laughs> anything. Oh, okay, okay great, because I have $5,000 here. Whip it out, right now. What? But I'll do it. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 not that. No, I, I, I was wondering if I could buy one of your kidneys. <laughs> oh, oh, good thing. Good thing you asked for a kidney. Because <laughs> I'll never do the other thing. Never, ever. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the cutter right now. I'll do it for the money. <laughs> uh, really? Right here? Yes, if I could watch the money while you cut. But, okay, yeah, sure, I'll do it. <sighs> uh... Huh, thanks for the kidney. No, thank you for the money. Oh, I'll do the other thing for free, though. No, I'm good. Come back and love me! So, uh, does the carpet match the drapes? Actually, we were thinking about changing the color. Shave the carpet. Hey, Dad, 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 I got your kidney back. See, see, you see it, Dad? Oh, that's actually mine? No, no, give me that. See, this could be you, and this kidney could be my balls. I, okay, Dad, just focus on the kidney. Oh, give it here. Let me see this thing. Hey there, kidney. I missed you. You know what, kid? I forgive you. Really, Dad? Yeah, I do. What about me, Fajo? Do you love me too? Please? Jonathan, get out of here, you virgin bitch! So, guys, what do you want to do today? Ooh, let's go swimming in your pool. I just want an excuse to take my clothes off around you guys. Yeah, dude, let's swim! But I'm gonna keep my shirt on. Yeah, I'm keeping my shirt on, too. Oh, come on, guys! You guys are lame! Let's see some belly button! Or any hole, for that matter. Damn it. Come on, Ken. Oh, man, Joseph, I can't wait to go swimming! Oh, yeah, dude, it's gonna be so much fun! Hey, bruh. Wait, who are you? I'm Brad with a big D. Hey, do you mind if I go surfing in your pool? Well, there's no waves in my pool. Yeah, there are. Look at all those little ones. Okay, I guess you can. Oh, uh, thanks, bruh. That was weird. Right? All right, Ken, put some sunscreen on me. You know I burn like a DiGiorno pizza that's been left in the oven for five minutes too long. And make sure you get plenty between my butt cheeks. I don't want a pale crack. Ken? Ken, I don't feel anything wet dripping on my back. <laughs> Ken? Ken, what are you doing? Ken, what are you looking at? What the? Ken, you're looking at him? Huh? You think he's hot? Yeah, well, look at him. Look at him all you want, because he's not even hunky. He doesn't even have muscles like I do. Look at me, Ken. Look at me! Ken! Ken! Oh, oh okay, okay, you want him so much? Then you can have him. 
Joseph, we should play pool basketball. Oh, yeah, dude, let's do it. No, guys, I'm not swimming anymore. What's wrong, Cody? Because Ken is flirting with that hot new guy in the pool. You mean Brad with a big D? Oh, God, you've seen it. My two-inch pincher can't compete with a big D. <laughs> let's go see what's wrong with Cody. Oh, again? <laughs> Calm down, Cody. No, why is Ken looking at other guys? Am I not hot enough for him? No. What? But I have a six-pack. Dude, your face looks like a pizza. Yeah, there's pepperonis all over your face. Well, okay, I know my face isn't that hot, but the rest of me's hot. I'm hotter than Brad. Well, Brad's face looks better. No, Brad's ugly. I wouldn't kiss him if he was the last man on Earth. Okay, well, maybe I would. Maybe, maybe I would kiss him if he, like, cornered me alone in a room. Actually, maybe I'd approach him and kiss him. No, oh God, he's a stud muffin. <laughs> See, look, if you think Brad's hot, why are you mad at Ken for thinking he's hot? Well, but, you know, don't stare at him like that. You know, don't break your neck. His, his head was turned so far to the right, I thought his head was going to fall off. Wait, Ken? Hey, I don't really appreciate you throwing your doll at me like that. Well, he was basically throwing himself at you. Anyway, thanks for letting me use your pool, Junior. Bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Jeez, why is everyone sucking him off so much? He's not that great. I mean, I know his hair is fantastic, and his tan is really hot, and he has beautiful blue eyes. Ken, what do you have to say for yourself, huh? What'd you do when I left, huh? You, you guys do the hokey pokey, huh? Turn yourself around, slut? Well, Co Cody, how about we play a board game so you can stop arguing with Ken? <sighs> okay, yeah. Okay, guys, I have two board games we can play. We can play Gobble Monster. <laughs> That's what Ken was being with Brad's nuts. A little Gobble Monster. Or we can play Rattlesnake Jake. <laughs> yeah, Ken was playing with Brad's Rattlesnake. His wiener. Can we just play Gobble Monster? <laughs> hey, look at me. Who am I? <laughs> oh, it's Brad's nuts. I'm a little Gobble Monster. <laughs> Dude, you're going to ruin the game. Yeah, Cody, are you going to play? Yeah, I'll play. Ken can just sit here and watch. Since he likes to watch so much, like he was watching Brad in the pool under the waterfall in slow motion. Cody, we don't want to hear you and Ken argue. Yeah, 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 yeah. You hear that, Ken? They don't want to hear you argue, so get out of here. What? Damn, dude, you're going to break your doll. Nah, don't worry about him. He's pretty durable. I've done worse. All right, guys, let's play Gobble Monster. <laughs> Ken's a little Gobble Monster for nuts. We get it, nigga. God. Okay, guys, let's play. How do you play? Well, you pull his tongue out and you put the toys on his tongue. Wait, pull his tongue out? Wait. Jesus H. Christ, I like this. Yeah, and then we press his button. And now, every time you touch the tongue... It makes that noise, so if we put the toys on his tongue and we try to grab it, you have to grab all the toys before his tongue sucks back okay, in his mouth. I think I see where this is going. <laughs> I like this thing. Hey, could you guys give me a minute alone with this? Well, Cody, no, we want to play the game! Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I think I have a different game in mind. <laughs> well, we want to play the game, so leave, Cody. Yeah, I guess you guys are right. I should probably go check on Ken. I feel bad for arguing with him. This kind of made me think of him. All right, let's play before he gets back. Yes, finally, dude. Ken? Ken? I'm sorry I threw you. I just want to talk and apologize. Wait, Ken? Ken, what are you doing here with all these dudes? Is that Buzz Lightyear? Oh, hell no. First you're looking at Brad, and now you're cuddled up with all these dudes and Buzz Lightyear? Oh, I get it. Buzz Lightyear's enough for you. You don't want me anymore. Okay, fine. That's it. We're done. <laughs> Your turn, dude. Okay, I'm gonna go for this piece. <laughs> What's wrong, Cody? Me and Ken broke up. He cheated on me with Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear? To infinity and beyond. <laughs> I hate him. Well, cheer up, Cody. Cheer up? How would you feel if your boyfriend cheated on you with Buzz Lightyear? Well, I'm not gay. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and cry. I'll never be happy ever again. So, uh, are we gonna finish this game? Yeah, let's play again. Alright, All right, Joseph. It's your turn to grab a nugget. Okay, dude. Huh? Oh, that was close. <laughs> All right, my turn. Oh, you cheated, dude. You just pushed it off. Oh, see, you cheated. It was, it was supposed to jump on you. Oh, that scared me. Oh, we haven't heard from Cody in a long time. I wonder what he's doing, dude. Let's go check on him. Hmm. I hope Cody's home. Hello? Hey, is Cody here? Oh, no. Who's at the door, baby? They want to see Cody. Oh, Shamu, the beach whale. Yeah, he washed up earlier today. Yeah, you want to see the behemoth. I thought I was already looking at a behemoth. Oh, no, I'm big, but Cody, oh, good grief. That's a big bitch. Yeah, huge. You got to pay to see that. Yeah, you boys can come in, but be careful. Do you have any food on you? He can smell it a mile away. But, no, I don't have any food. Okay, you boys can come in, but just watch out. Shh, shh. All right, kids, there he is. Mom, can you give me some more Chunky Monkey ice cream? Jesus. Yeah, he's in his natural habitat. Being a fat-ass pig! Get up, boy! Oink, oink, oink! You got customers! Well, Junior, is that you? Cody. Hey, hey, you want to feed him? Five dollars, you get to feed him all the Oreos you want. I want to feed him. Here you go. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> all right, here you go. Hey, hey, no biting. You're going to run away to customers, boy. Uh-oh. Uh, 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 
know that's not worth it. Cody, why are you so fat? Well, if your boyfriend cheats on you, what's the point in staying hunky? Why, why are you in your underwear? Oh, none of my clothes fit anymore. Hey, do you guys know how good Chunky Monkey ice cream is? I mean, it is like the best <laughs> mother ice cream I've ever had. I mean, chocolate fudge brownie's pretty good, but oh, God, Chunky Monkey. Well, Cody, we really want to hang out with you. Yeah, I'll, I'll roll my way over to your place at some point. Okay, we'll, we'll see you later, Cody. Another happy customer. All right, boy, get ready for the next family. Come one, come all. Let's see the fattest boy on planet Earth. <laughs> he won't bite. Come on, dude, I want to rematch. You cheated. I didn't cheat, Joseph. You suck at the game. Get good. <laughs> Cheating? You mean like Ken did to me? Oh, hey, Cody. Don't you mean roundy? Because <laughs> he's big and round and a fat. That's lame, Joseph. <laughs> dude, I tried. Hey, you guys have room on the couch for me and my ice cream? I mean, not the ice cream. You should Probably get, get rid of that. Well, I can't just get rid of this. Why? Well, because it's Chunky Monkey, Junior. Chunky Monkey's just so f sucking delicious. Oh, you don't you don't even understand. If you had a lick of my Chunky Monkey, you would understand. And then maybe you could try my ice cream. <laughs> well, I don't like how fat you are, Cody. Yeah, it's very ugly. Yeah, you're, you're really fat. Hard to look at you. Okay, well, I, I do still have feelings. Well, no guy's gonna want you being that fat. Oh, yeah? Well, how about I introduce you guys to my new boyfriend, Minecraft Steve. What, Minecraft Steve? Yeah, he can punch down trees with his bare hands. It's badass. Everything about him is blocky. And I mean everything. <laughs> it's actually kind of a problem, because he has a lot of hard corners. But, you know, my bunghole is square-shaped now. <laughs> so, like, you really like him? Oh, yeah. I think you could say things are getting pretty serious. He built us a cabin in the woods, and then some creepers blew it up, but <laughs> that's just life, you know? Isn't that right, Steve? <laughs> well, as long as you're happy, Cody. Oh, yeah, I'm happy. I'm really happy. I, just... <laughs> I hate Minecraft, Steve. All he ever does is punch dirt and collect rocks. He's so lame. Well, why don't you just take Ken back? I can't take Ken back. He cheated on me with Buzz Lightyear. Well, did you ever physically see him cheat? Well, no, but he was looking at other guys, and then I found him with a whole bunch of other guys in Buzz Lightyear. Well, don't you always hang out with other dudes? Oh, well, yeah. So, like, that's, what's the difference? You're just being mad for no reason. Oh, okay, but e even if I did want to get back with Ken, he wouldn't take me if I looked like this. Well, just lose the weight. Stop eating Chunky Monkey. Junior, I can't stop eating Chunky Monkey. It's so goddamn fucking delicious. Ugh. Oh. But no, I can't do that. I mean, look, I can't just drop the weight. It's not like I can just have a montage and lose all the weight suddenly. Oh wait, this is YouTube. <laughs> I can do exactly that, okay. All right, Joseph, it's your turn. Okay, I'll do it. Dude, you cheated! You must have set it up! Oh, no, you just suck at the game. No, I don't! Hey, guys, I'm back. Whoa, Cody, you're ripped! Yeah, didn't even take long. Well, you want some more Chunky Monkey? <sighs> chunky Monkey? No, I can't. This monkey is no longer Chunky. I'm Hunky Monkey now. <laughs> so what are you going to do now, Cody? I'm going to get my boyfriend back. Ken, I want you back, and I'm willing to fight all these guys to do it. So come on, one at a time, let's see what you got. Oh, Buzz Lightyear, huh? Well, you're not even a flying toy. <clears throat> oh, you're an astronaut? Well, this is one small step for man and one giant foot in your ass. <clears throat> oh, Woody, you've got a friend in me, but you've also got a foot in your ass. <clears throat> oh, the Green Goblin? Don't tell Harry about the foot in your ass. <clears throat> oh, Superman, my mom's name's Martha too. <clears throat> Just kidding, foot in your ass. Come on, Ken, let's get out of here. Hey guys, me and Ken worked it out. We decided we can look at other guys, but if we decide to add a third guy to this gumbo, we both have to approve him. So what are you guys doing? We're playing Rattlesnake Jake. That looks fun. All right, your turn, Joseph. Okay, dude. Ha ha ha. My turn. Stop wiping it off, dude. You're, just, you're not even picking it up. All right, my piece went over there. Your turn. <sighs> Scott, I'm over this game. <laughs> I'm going to borrow this. <laughs> 